God urges us to come to him, to bring him all our cares and concerns, and to bring him our requests. And so we're going to do that now as we pray together. Let's pray. Almighty God, our loving Heavenly Father, we bring you our praise and worship today. Your might and power are beyond our imagining. You created the earth and everything in it, the sun, moon and stars, the sea and the dry land, plants and all living creatures. You were brought into being by your powerful word. You're worthy of all honour and we bow before you, our Lord and our God. Lord, we are not worthy to come into your presence. We are small, mean, sinful creatures. We have rebelled against you. Even though we have enjoyed your good gifts and have known your loving care all our lives, we cannot bring you anything to make it right. So we call upon you for mercy, knowing that you are a loving God. We come before you to ask forgiveness through the blood of your dear Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who died and rose again to bring us back to you. We ask you to cleanse us from our sins, to restore and renew us, so that we might go on to serve you and tell of your great love. Heavenly Father, we ask you to look with mercy upon those who are sick or grieving. Will you please heal and comfort those who suffer and restore them? We give you thanks for those who care for the sick and ask that you would sustain them in their work. But while we are so focused on the current sickness, we know that your work of salvation is going on, that your Holy Spirit is moving to convict people of their sins to open their eyes and ears to hear your word and see that Jesus is Lord. We pray that you would give strength and determination to your servants to spread the good news by whatever means they can. We remember particularly today those working with students. So we pray for Samuel in Serbia, for Lawrence and Melis in Turkey, for our UCCF workers in this country. We do ask, Lord, that their work would bear fruit for your greater glory. Finally, Lord, we pray for ourselves here at Minster. Loving Lord, please will you comfort those who are lonely or stressed. Will you give strength to those who risk their health by continuing to go to work. Please, Lord, will you provide for the needs of those who have little income at this time? And most of all, Lord, for each of us, may our eyes be fixed on you, may our trust be grounded in your Son's work of salvation, may our hearts reach out to the lost, in all things, may we grow more Christ-like in your service, to the praise of your great name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.